And just as I've done for four years, I will fully uphold our Second Amendment. We do that. I will bring back free speech in America. And finally, to restore pride in our history and confidence in our future, I will leave a massive year-long salute to America to celebrate the 250th anniversary on July 4th. This was July 4th, 1776. There are other dates you hear about, but this is the date that we recognize, 17. 76, and we're going to have a big celebration, and it's going to be a celebration like we really deserve in this country for everything we've gone through. With you at my side, we will give our nation's founding the amazing anniversary party that America needs and so richly deserves. Days from now, all of us will be celebrating this year's Independence Day at a very challenging time for our country. As we do, let us remember the words of one Massachusetts preacher during the Revolutionary War on an autumn night in 1777, when the fate of our nation looked very, very bleak, much as it does in many ways right now. Be of good courage, he urged the patriots in the pews, because the cause of American independence is a glorious, glorious cause. Today, we are a nation in decline, and it is because of our corrupt and inept leadership and the power of modern day weaponry. It's so powerful, so horrible. It's so horrible. The levels of power, you've never seen anything like it. Shouldn't even be discussed. It wasn't talked about very much during my term. I didn't want to have anyone talking about it, but the level of power of modern day weaponry is, is horrible. It's the most dangerous period in the history of our country. It's time for us, because of all of this, so scary, we have leaders that don't have a clue. We have leaders that have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea. We have leaders that are totally corrupt. These are corrupt people. It's time for us to keep our faith, our unity, and our resolve. We must be strong like never before. We must be unstoppable. Together, we will take on the communists and the Marxists and the fascists and the globalists and the fake news media, which is just as bad as all of that. And we have to take on crooked Joe Biden and the worst administration in the history of this country. And propelled by the spirit of July 4th, 1776, we will win a righteous and resounding victory on November 5th, 2024. And we will make America great again, greater than ever before. Thank you all very much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.